Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about future two new legendary heroes which will be marksman heroes, archers. And as an archer main, I'm really really excited about those two new legendary heroes which will come to the next season. Uh, I think for my own server I have left like two weeks until I will start the next season and I will be able to get both of them. Of course, as a free to play player I need to be lucky uh, to get both of the legendary heroes from the Wheel of Destiny. But yeah, I'm really excited and let's check um, what kind of skills, what kind of synergies uh, Magrod and Zaida have. I will of course use one trick which we can uh, uh, see about new legendary heroes. So you're gonna go to the emojis section and you're gonna see Zaida here. Zaida is League of Order legendary hero which will be marksman PvP mobility. Uh, and as always, let's check the skills which this uh, pretty cool looking... Um, a marksman a league of order hero uh, will do a first skill is always one of the most important skills for any kind of hero in the game so like whenever a zaida legion deals normal attack damage they gain one stack of the down watchers mark for five seconds up to 10 stacks maximum stacks every one second well this stacking and the like applying some stacks to the enemies is pretty normal nowadays like almost every new hero has something like this uh, and the most important stuff is that each stack of the, uh, this mark increases normal attack damage dealt by 8% and march speed by 2%. Well, um, it's like a normal attack damage dealer. As we can see, there is not a skill damage factor on the main skill. So we already have kind of idea what kind of hero um, Zaida will be. The second skill uh, is like damage dealt bonus up to 10% and also uh, healing 20%. Well, 20% is quite high. Uh, whenever the stacking will be reached in the maximum amount, that's whenever we are getting 10% uh, uh, deal damage and 20% healing received. The third skill is like pure stats, 30% physical attack bonus. Um, well, again, great stat to have whenever you don't have skill damage factor. It's always better to have simple like physical stats uh, on your hero. And also 10% march speed, again, some more movement speed, which is always great to have on a marksman. Um, as a marksman main, I always uh, want to have more movement speed because, like, in general, marksman legions are one of the slowest ones in Call of Dragons. The fourth skill, whenever Zaida Legion deals normal attack damage, they have 25% chance to gain normal attack focus. And the focus is simply increasing your normal attack crit rate by 10% for, uh, for 4 seconds. And it's up to 25% crit rate bonus. Well, great. Um, again, I think it's a normal attack crit rate and also some healing, some survivability. That's a playstyle for Zaida. Which is quite interesting because uh, for the other heroes in the game in terms of uh, marksmen, we have skill damage factor with Ginara and Nico. And after that, Sindrion, Fragar, and already Zaida will be pure normal attackers with crit. Uh, and Zaida is uh, kind of different from Sindrion and Fragar because Zaida has some uh, healing uh, bonuses on its play kit. The awakening skill is Zaida's Legion gains three stacks of the Down Watcher's mark upon entering battle. So, in, like it means, you will uh, use this skill. Uh, this is a decision duel uh, more easily uh, whenever you're gonna get maximum stacks. Uh, that's the bonuses you are getting. So, the awakening skill is kind of helping the first and the second skill. Well, pretty interesting hero. Uh, Syndrome and Fragar was the first normal attack crit rate damage dealers, uh, and now. Zaida will be the newest one with the normal attack uh, damage deals with healing sets additional bonus for Zaida which makes difference from Syndrome and Fragar. I think it's pretty cool um, like talents is marksman PvP mobility 
uh it's nice to have mobility talents um uh, for the marksman also because yeah as i have mentioned uh we have been lacking some mobility in terms of battlefield because if you are getting stuck uh, and you you want to move back you need to be 10 seconds ahead and uh, predict where it's danger and where it's not whenever you are marksman main like me and i always speak about with my own experience um, this is Zaidam, which I, I think will be a great addition to the game, and also I really, really like the art which Zaida has. Uh, let's check the uh, another second marksman uh, hero, which kind of looks weird, uh, but yeah, that's the theme which we are going for, which is Magrat. Uh, of course, whenever you can look, you, whenever you're gonna look at the Magrat, it has a vibes of Greg, right? Uh, but yeah, Magrat is different. Magrat is special in terms of Call of Dragons heroes because that's the first marksman hero who has garrison and as always uh, every single marksman main would want to have Magrat because everybody knows that uh, if you are marksman main and you have the most amount of marksman troops in your city it's much better to have marksman garrison because you're gonna buff your troops and you will be defending your city much much better as always yeah pretty uh, weird but cool uh, theme of the art of the magrat and let's check these skill sets which i think uh, should be pretty interesting and, uh, simply because all garrison is always uh, uh, brings something new to the game First skill is Peach Stream. Uh, Magrat Legion gains a variable healing. Variable healing simply means that higher tier uh, enemy you're gonna defeat, more healing you are receiving, uh, which is unique. Uh, whenever they deal normal attack damage, healing rate 1%. Whenever variable healing has been triggered five times, their next normal attack deals 250% uh, more damage, and it's up to 450. That's a big numbers. Uh, wearable healing can be triggered once every one second and healing rate is five seconds well already interesting no skill damage factor on the main skill uh, no no crit rate uh, which we were used to in other marksman uh, legions but uh, whenever you're gonna uh, apply your healing five times uh, your normal attack damage will be increased to 450 percent that's a big amount, right? The second skill, whenever Magrat's Legion gains healing or wearable healing, they have a 30% chance to gain 20% attack for 3 seconds, up to 40%. Well, 40% attack bonus is a big amount, big amount, like uh, almost 50%. Uh, like, uh, I have, I think I have not seen such a big number in terms of percentage bonus, which is another unique feature and the third one uh, spore stupor uh, all marksman units in magros legion deal uh, 15 percent more normal attack damage and gain uh, 20 percent more hp uh, okay uh, tanky lot of healing um, when magros garrison army that's the garrison skill uh, in this city or stronghold they receive healing every 10 seconds uh, healing factor 50 and gain 4% attack for, well, it's healing factor 200 on the max level and the 10% attack bonus. Well, in general, I don't really like healing on Garrison and um, like in general, uh, but that's the way game is going. If you are marksman player, you have to have Magrat in your Garrison and uh, like uh, it will be interesting if free to play players will be lucky and get uh, Magrat on the Wheel of Destiny. Uh, the Awakening skill is the upgradable one for the first skill, uh, Magrat legion deals like uh, this he variable healing whenever they deal normal attack damage and the difference is from 450 percent you are getting 500 percent more damage uh, can be triggered once every one second well uh, one of the most unique uh, marksman heroes in the game uh, which uh, which main idea is to buff it she's more of a buffer right like uh, healing survivability and also with her own buffs uh, like you are dealing a lot of damage like 500 percent damage uh, from the awakening and let's not even think about the awakening skill 450 percent is always like a big amount right especially if you're gonna awaken any max scale skills out and if you have tier 5 units well good luck to enemies uh, really interesting one and uh, in terms of uh, hero pairs i think 
uh, Magrat and Zaida will be a great hero pair, especially because I think precision uh, talent tree is amazing and number one choice for marksman players. Uh, but in terms of other uh, hero pairs, well, uh, I think Magrat will have a lot of use in many different hero pairs. And also, I think Zaida too, right? Zaida has some crit rate damage, like kind of similar to Syndrome and Frager. Uh, I guess you can play uh, Zaida uh, with the Syndrome and Frager. It needs to be checked. Magrat, Magrat is a lot more interesting, I guess, until uh, I won't gonna have at least one of them, it will be hard for me to decide. But uh, I think Magrat and Zaida is amazing uh, uh, addition to the game, some kind of uh, old playstyle in terms of Syndrome and Fregar, normal attack, crit rate damage, band, but uh, Magrat is way, way different uh, legendary hero in terms of archers than we had before. I'm really excited, I will hope that uh, whenever I, I will have uh, next season in two weeks I will be able to get uh, Magrat and Zaida both of them of course um, Zaida will be from the from the lucky spins and the Magrat will be the most valuable one a more of a pay to inaccessible uh, legendary hero which I hope uh, I will try to get it uh, of course at least I will get it at least one but I'm pretty sure I will get um, like uh, Zaida from the Lucky Spins, uh, that's why I have saved all, all of my uh, gems through this season. Uh, then I, I guess I need to get lucky in terms of uh, Magrat because Zaida will be available from the Lucky Spin. Uh, well, I think these two new legendary heroes will be the best hero pairs for each other, uh, but after the season will progress, we will have some different views in terms of Zaida and Magrat. Uh, Magrat, well, I, 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 I I for, from the first uh, uh, th thinking of the skill set of the Magrat, I thought maybe Indis 20% uh, more damage, uh, like in percentages from the 450% uh, damage from normal attack for the Zaida, for the Magrat. Well, it might be a hero pair. Well, we will see. Maybe uh, Thea, uh, uh, that can be a hero pair also. So that's all of my suggestions. Uh, I hope I will try it by myself and I will be able to showcase the amazing gameplay which these two new legendary heroes will bring uh, and finally yeah marksman players are getting their marksman garrison um, i hope you like the video i'm really excited about th these two new legendary marksman heroes tell me your opinion are you excited too which one do you like more and in general whenever we have a discussion it's always better and it's more and more fun to play this game uh, if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation when Whenever you do that uh, and yep uh, I hope everybody will have an amazing day morning or night wherever you are um, I'm gonna see you soon really really soon bye bye and good luck